the Lord who cleanses. Welcome to Sitam Church Online. My name is Jotham Munene. I serve as a senior pastor at Sitam Gong, and I'm glad you are watching this video. Welcome. In the previous video, we started talking about the Lord who cleanses us. The vision before us was of Joshua the high priest who appeared in the vision wearing very filthy clothes. And then the angel of the Lord says, take off these clothes and dress him with rich robes. In other words, new bright good clothes that we said last time represents a new opportunity. It represents uh, new things. It represents favor in, in your life. The question I'd like us to answer today as we uh, close this particular, uh, you know, uh, portion is how was it possible for this new change of clothes? And where did they take the old clothes and where did they get the new clothes from? In verse 8 of chapter 3, we are told that God says, I am bringing my servant the branch. Now, in my translation, the branch is written in capital letters, indicating that it is the Lord Jesus himself. As you can find in Isaiah chapter 11 uh, from verse 1, which says, a shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. You see, David was, in a sense, the greatest king as far as human kings are concerned that Israel, even Judah, ever had. And after they went, and God promised him that you will always have someone from your body as king over, over my people. But now when they are in captivity, Nobody is king, of course, because Nebuchadnezzar and the other guys from Babylon are the kings. So it's like the tree from David has now a stump that is dry. But the prophet is saying one day there will be a branch coming out of this tree that looks dead. And that, my friend, is actually Jesus himself. So the old clothes are taken to the Lord Jesus who went to the cross. He went there so that there can be an exchange, which is described in 2 Corinthians 5, 21. It says, God made him who knew no sin to be seen for us so that we can become the righteousness of God. In fact, Jesus cried on the cross, my, my father, uh, my father, why have you forsaken me? And when we analyze, we realize he had to be forsaken because he was carrying our sins at that time. He was carrying, to put it in the imagery that we dealt with last time, he was carrying all our filthy clothes. And so God had to turn his face away from him. So God took all your shame, all your pain, all your sicknesses, all your poverty, and laid it on Christ, and then he took now the righteousness of God and put upon you and I. So that when God looks at us, he doesn't see that filthiness anymore. He sees somebody wearing clean garments, which were supposed to be on Jesus himself. This is indeed good news. And so you don't have a right to continue wallowing in shame, in feeling unworthy, in thinking about I'm going to end my life, in thinking about I'm going to harm myself, you know, I'm going to lock myself up in my room so that I don't go to these people who don't value me. You don't have to do all that because already Jesus has taken all that shame, all that pain on your behalf. In other words, there's an exchange. Your filthy clothes go to Jesus. His white, clean clothes that speak of hope, that speak of favor, that speaks of a bright future, that speak of heaven and eternal life, 
are coming from Christ to you. It is a divine exchange that happened at the cross. It already happened, but it becomes real in your life when you accept this change to come in your life. All you have to do is to tell the Lord, I am willing to exchange my dirty life, to exchange my dull life, to exchange my life that I'm almost to terminate with your new life. And the Bible says that he will give you new life, what the Bible calls eternal life. It begins now and gives you a hope and a future. Would you like to actualize this transaction that already happened in your life? Then pray this prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I am a sinner. And today, I want to have your righteousness, your holiness. I want to have eternal life. I want the name, my name, to appear in the book of life. I surrender my life to you and I ask you to take all my sins and forgive me and instead give me your eternal life, your righteousness. Save me, Lord, today. I receive you in my heart so that you will live in me and you will be with me in my life until I come to you after this life. Thank you for saving me. I pray in Jesus' name. Now, if you have prayed that prayer, we would like you to just let us know through the social media platforms below. Even if you have not prayed, but you would like us to engage a bit more, uh, send something and then we will be able to get back to you. If you have questions, things you need clarified, again, just communicate with us and we'll be happy to get back with you. Sitam Church Online exists for you so that you are able to receive this blessing. So we'd like you to respond uh, in every Whichever way you want to talk to us and we'll get back to you. Thank you for watching this. My name is Jotham Munene and this video is part of uh, a series from Zechariah on Sitam Church Online. God bless you.